Dr. Tom here. The video that you are about to watch is a short excerpt from a course that I have all about drainage, waste, and vents. The difference between plumbers who know what they are doing and those who do not is whether they understand drainage, waste, and vent principles. This course is designed to help you to understand all of that and to become a true master of the trade. So check it out. There's a link below. You can enroll in the course. I hope to see you there. Let's examine the principles for wet venting from the International Plumbing Code. This would be section 912 on wet venting, and particularly we're looking at the horizontal wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle one. A wet vent can serve up to two bathroom groups. Please remember that this limits the bathroom groups to bathroom group fixtures only. Horizontal wet vent principle two. Drain is also considered a vent from the dry vent connection to the most downstream fixture drain connection. Once again, this means that the drain pipe is being used as a vent all the way down, that's through the horizontal branch, to the last fixture connected in that horizontal wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle three. All fixtures connected to the wet vent must be on the same floor level. Same as with vertical wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle four. Each fixture must connect independently to the wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle five. Only fixtures within the bathroom group are allowed to be connected to the wet vent. Let's have another quick look at the definition of that. International Plumbing Code Chapter 2 Definitions Bathroom Group states that a bathroom group is a group of fixtures consisting of a water closet, lavatory, bathtub, or shower, including or excluding bidet and emergency floor drain or both. Such fixtures are located together on the same floor level. Once again, we would only be connecting bathroom group fixtures to the horizontal wet vent. That would exclude a nearby laundry sink, washer connection, kitchen sinks, anything else like that we're gonna pipe around the bathroom group so that it does not interfere with our horizontal wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle six, any additional fixtures are to connect downstream from the wet vented bathroom group. And horizontal wet vent principle seven, an emergency floor drain vent cannot serve as a wet vent for a bathroom group. This is because an emergency floor drain would rarely be receiving fluids and the point of a wet vent is that it would occasionally be washed through. A vent for an emergency floor drain that does not have a consistent flow could become blocked over time as drain scum or whatever else builds up inside of there. All right, let's go over to the Uniform Plumbing Code and look at what they have for wet venting. This is in section 908, Horizontal Wet Vent Principle 1. All wet vented fixtures must be on the same floor level. Horizontal wet vent principle two. The wet vent is to be vented by one or two vented lavatories. So we're kind of focusing on using a lavatory to wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle three. Only one fixture drain can discharge upstream from the dry vent fixture connection. This is similar to what we see in International Plumbing Code, just worded differently, but basically every fixture has to have an individual connection to the wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle four. Water closet fixture drain shall be downstream from the fixture drain for the horizontal wet vent. This specifies that the toilet cannot be upstream from the wet vent. It can only be down past the lavatory. And finally, horizontal wet vent principle five. Only fixtures within the bathroom group are allowed to be connected to a wet vent.